Our nuclear revenge. First of two stories. X. Almost. Mother-in-law fired me unrightfully so I destroyed her company hey everyone. I decided to share my story. It all took place 17 years ago but I feel like it belongs here. At that time I was 20 years old and dated my first true love. We've been together for. 1. 5 years already and everything was just great. Her mother really liked me and she had her own company which traded fashion clothes for kids. She made a tons of money. They needed someone to drive one of their 3, 5T truck and she came up with an idea to hire me cos. I was unhappy with the job I had. So as a win-win situation I accepted her offer and we started working together. Job was okay, even though I had to work a huge amount of overtimes cos she thrugly introduced me how the whole company worked. She had a huge storage facility, a store, and two trucks. One that I drove and a big one. I worked for her like one year and in that time I knew every single thing about the company cause she trusted me with also the dirty secrets, this later came in handy. This is where things took a huge turn. I found out that my girlfriend cheated on me with her ex, and as a result I broke up with her instantly. It was an ugly situation, and after it went down I called her mother and told her what was going on and that I don't want to mix things with business. So I will still be there for work, even though I don't want to see her daughter again. She said everything is alright but of course she sided with her daughter and I felt that she is mad at me cause of the breakup. I went to work and acted as a professional should, took all the drama aside. However soon after she singled me out it started looking for mistakes so she can discipline me. This has been going on for months and I realized she just waiting for an excuse to fire me but I wasn't gonna give that reason to her that easily. She was pissed that she couldn't find big mistakes and the small ones she often just made up was not enough to terminate me. So she came up with a plan. On the truck we had a power generator which provided a light and a powerful laptop, printer and so on. It worked in two ways, with fuel when we were on the road and with cable in case we were at the storage. But it was not made by a company they just hired an electrician for that and he made an error. So we had to flip a switch all the time if we used it with a cable connection otherwise it would burn down. As I loaded the truck she convinced a co-worker to flip the switch back and after a few minutes the lights were gone and I noticed something's wrong. It burned out of course but I knew I didn't forgot the switch cause I was loaded the truck for an hour and it only took 5 minutes tops to burn out so it couldn't be me. She didn't even heard me out started yelling fired me on the spot and stated that she gonna pay the repairs out of my last salary so don't expect any money from her. I didn't took that lightly and told her that I don't think you wanna go this way with me but she refused to listen. It took a few days for me to cool down but I wanted to give her a last chance. I called her and told her even though I know what was going on and she did set me up, but if I get my money, I will call it an end and we don't have to see each other again. She told me to fuck off, so I came up with a plan. First because I knew that the store she had didn't had a bathroom which was illegal in my country, the shop assistants had an agreement with a restaurant on the opposite side to go there if they needed, I reported this to the authorities and the next day they closed the shop because of this violation, and told her she can't open up until they have a bathroom. She called me right away and asked me if I have anything to do with this. I laughed and told her. Didn't I told you that you don't wanna go this way with me? And hung up. I knew that we worked so much overtime that me and the other truck driver had so much overdrive on the Tacho cards, it records how many hours you drive and how fast, and when you stopped, so I called the authorities again and told them everything. They went and checked all the records and gave the company a brutal fine. She sent me obscene text messages all day long after that. I replied ain't done yet. Then silence. Few hours went by and my phone rang. She called and asked me if we can talk it over. She even said she sent me my last paycheck, but I shut her down immediately and told her, too late for that. And I called the fire department and told them that the wires they had in the walls of the store were outdated which caused short circuits daily and that they only have 2 fire extinguisher for the whole place when they should have like 12 to 15. On that very day they had to close the storage as well so she lost the last place where she could make money for months until they get everything up to date and renew all the wires, which cost a huge amount of money. Because of the fines she got from the different authorities she couldn't afford these renovations of course. 
Few months later she filed for bankruptcy. I know because my ex general friend called me with I hope you happy asshole. You made my family bankrupt. I never got my paycheck but at that point I didn't even care anymore. I was happy with the outcome. I hope you enjoyed my story. Update. I never thought that my post gonna get so much attention. First of all thank you for all the support I tried to answer to every one of you. I got a bunch of DMs from people asking questions and I thought the best way is to make an update instead of typing the same thing to everyone over and over. Also thank you for all the awards. Oh, and sorry in advance for my grammar xd let's get into it, so after a few months the tax department, or as some of you know it irs, took almost everything from her. Store, stuff, storage, trucks the whole nine yard. She got so much fines from different authorities she could not pay it, so after everything was gone she sold her house moved to a smaller apartment and never owned a business again as far as I know she works in a store as a clerk. Things not looking good. My ex-girlfriend, well she married to the next guy and now they have 4 kids. After the second child she really let herself go, and now if I'm happy that I didn't had a child from her. I'm not gonna fat shame her but, day I owe him at least they still together so maybe, just maybe she learned a lesson and did not cheat on him. Or so I hope. About me, I had a long relationship after her, my son was born but she was a lazy ass gold digger so after 5 years we separated. I've met the love of my life after that and since almost 9 years we are still happy together. She also got out of a terrible relationship, abuse, and domestic violence, so she truly appreciates me and vice versa. I love her to death. I hope I answered all the questions. Love you all. Bye. Second story. I got back at my bully in a big way hello. I posted this on pro revenge first, but it was removed because they didn't think it was feasible. I'm on a phone, and I speak and write English fluently, but it's not my first language. I have posted some entitled parents stories and in one of them. I shared that an entitled mother spread some nasty rumors about me being a violent sociopath that actually managed to stick due to a prior incident. This is said prior incident. This happened 12 years ago, and some of the details have been lost to the ages. And some stuff might be exaggerated and or embellished, as stories might get as they get told and retold for years. Now with the necessary explanations out of the way. Onto the story. Strap in, I tend to digress, so this is likely going to be a long one. I was 12 years old, and I wasn't all that tall, I was wide and overweight. I also had one hell of a temper that I had learned to control in a way so that for the most part I didn't react violently, but I reacted to most things regardless, it meant bullies loved picking on me. At this point I had been bullied for years, it started out with classmates during the lower years, until my mom got involved and all the parents were made aware of it, and my bullies stopped. Then my first year in the middle grades, 4th to 6th grade, a guy 2 grades up saw me and immediately realized that I was a prime candidate for him getting to feel better about himself, he was as short as me and a complete geek. This guy started out using an old Timmy insult for fat people, I had no clue he was trying to bully me. We had similar interests, so I actually thought he was trying to befriend me. This pissed him off a lot and he went out of his way to make it clear that he was bullying me. Took me a fair bit of time to actually catch on. Over the years he escalated, he grew in size, he got a following of friends and they would use almost every recess every single day to follow me and bully me. I had gone to the teachers multiple times, my mom and dad had contacted the principal multiple times, didn't work. My bullies usually retaliated with getting extra intense and physical too for a while every time, so I stopped doing it. Snitches get stitches am I right? Now, my dad was very tired of this happening again and again, so he took me aside and gave me a lesson about defending myself that I shared in my second entitled parent story. He basically gave me a rundown on self defense, told me explicitly never to start a fight, but it was alright to fight back and to end it. That violence should always be my last choice, etc. I took this to heart. This had been going on for 2 years by now. My mom had contacted the principal again. They were getting physical again, they had cornered me and I tried to get away, they wouldn't let me. I was sick and tired of this, 
So I looked at him and I said he better stop now or he would regret it. Bully and his posse of course laughs. They don't believe a lil fatty can do much. At this point, I am seething. I try to get out again. They push me back. And that's when I explode. I jump on main bully. He might be bigger than me, but he's still a skinny geek. I get him on the floor and start wailing on his face. Then when he tries to fight back and push me off, I bite his hand so hard I hear crunching. Meanwhile his friends are frozen just staring at me. I also jumped on his chest. In the end it took 3 teachers to pull me off. This kid had a broken nose, at least 2 broken ribs, a huge gash on his hand from my bite, which honestly could have killed him, you know germs and all. I was suspended, duh, for a week, but escaped expulsion because these fuckers had tormented me for years and the school had failed to stop them. According to what my dad told me. He had used that defense against the school and promised that if they expelled me, he would expose their failure to stop the bullying fears to the media and all the parents. So yeah. That's the story. And as said, I honestly don't know how much of this is exaggerated, but I got a feeling that the severity of the injuries might be one of the exaggerations. Edit. Thanks for the platinum. I am very grateful. One thing though, since people keep assuming I'm American and this happened in the US. I am Danish, this happened in Denmark, not the US. Denmark. The Scandinavian country right above Germany. One of the happiest countries in the world.